back. This time I'm reviewing something for you. I have to yell because my air conditioner is really loud. Today I am reviewing this. The one two fit doorway pull up bar. You may recall I reviewed another product by one two fit. The pull up dip station. You can click somewhere to watch that video review. So the dude from 1-2-Fit asked me if I would demonstrate some exercise ideas with this thing. And I said, I would love to. He mailed it to me from Amazon, the website, not the rainforest. It arrived very quickly, like in a day, because Amazon Prime, cat on the counter. What I liked about this one, I didn't have to do any fancy installation. With the other one, I had to hire a dude to drill holes in my cement wall because I'm bereft of that kind of thing. There are three different ways you can install this thing. There is the heavy duty approach, which involves screws and things, and that will allow you to support 330 pounds. There is the medium duty approach, which also involves screws and things, and that will allow you to support, hold on, 200 pounds. Then there is the friction mounting approach, which is the approach to, 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 to translate that. That's the approach that I used, and that involves no screws, because I'm not very good at screwing. Subscribe. The friction mounting approach allows for, oh, 100 pounds. Well, thank you. Did you bring me the slipper? The slipper is currency. I bring you slipper, you give me treats. Oh, but Sarah, are you less than 100 pounds? Oh, thank you. No, I actually weigh 135 pounds. I just didn't read the instructions before I did it, so. Do as I Google, not as I do. Thank you. Very nice of you. So this sucker is on Amazon, and I'll put the link in the description box below me. Below me. It ships to Canada and the United States, and it's $28 or five slippers. If it's any standard doy from 25.6 inches to 33.5 inches. I went for the friction mounting approach because I had to use my kitchen doorway. Furthermore, I could very quickly change the position from high to medium to low because that increased my exercise variety. Now this installs exactly the same way that my x pole installs for pole fitness. You can adjust the length by twisting the ends. You can see it's nice and cushy so it won't ruin your door frame. And then once you get it into the door frame, then you turn the center part and expand each end and so it fits by pressure, just like the pole. I am calluses city all over my hand from being a monkey with pole fitness and all the stuff I do with the rings and the horizontal bar, blah, blah, blah. So this was like holding on to a pillow. So without further ado, I filmed a slew of exercises so you can get ideas for what you would do with this $28 piece of excellence. So I placed the bar higher to do things like pull-ups and chin-ups and hanging ab exercises. If you're going to use the friction mounted approach, then the way that you twist the bar, make sure you're not going to do a pronated grip that would untwist the bar. That means you'd actually have to turn around in your doorway so that you're not going to untwist it and loosen it. 
I liked the medium level for doing stretching, you know, like for example, for example, I'll just hypothetically reenact this so you can see what you can do there. Oh yeah, look at me stretching. I've been told I'm fun to sit beside on airplanes. I also liked the medium level because you can put a resistance band around it and you can work on your horizontal pulling, you can do pec flies. If you put it to the bottom level, you can attach the resistance band and do bicep curls. Or if you put it up high, then you could do like lat pull downs, or you could do triceps push downs, etc., etc. Why do I look like I'm all like in a weird position? Then if you put it down low, you can do things like push ups, sit ups, Bulgarian split squats, and even tricep dips. So here's my honest review. I like the price tag. I like the fact that it's not permanent. If you do the friction mounted solution and you can quickly change the level of the bar height to give you more variety for your exercise regimen. I like the fact that it's got the foam. I think that's really swanky. And I think it's a really good choice for people who don't want to, you know, buy a big rope rack and put it in their living room. And I like that it was ideal for me somebody who is bereft of installation skills and who doesn't want to commit to screwing something in the wall, I like that that option is available. It's user friendly in that sense. So I didn't have to hire some dude to come in here and screw into my walls. You know, you could even attach your TRX to this sucker. So comment below and let me know what exercises that I should have filmed. What did I leave out? Tell me. So thank you for watching this video. And again, the link is in the description box below. I can also put the link below for the slippers. They say, don't moose with me. Thank you for watching this review and for subscribing and liking and leaving me lovely comments. And until next time, read the instructions. Excuse me, you're ruining my video. The whole entire video, you're ruining it. <coughs> Why am I already and putting myself to sleep. Let me try this again. <laughs>